evening. So, my name is Ryan Mahjar A from NS183. Um, today, I'll discuss the maneuvering, maneuvering and warning signal, also known as the Route 34. Um, I'll discuss some studies about this rule because my classmates also discuss it too. So what? So what is maneuvering signal? This is such signal may be supplemented at night by a light signal of at least five short and rapid flashes. All vessels involved in an overtaking situation should act accordance with the colored all the regs and as required by the circumstances of the case. So, a uh, when vessels are inside of one another, a power-driven vessel underway when maneuvering as authorized or required by these rules should indicate that maneuver by the following signal on her on her whistle. Um, one is one short blast to mean I am altering my course to starboard. Oh, two shorts plus to mean to means is I am alter altering my course to port. And three short plus to the meaning is I am operating a start propulsion. And and for the B is any vessel may supplement the whistle signal prescribed in paragraph. A. Of this rule by light signal repeated has appropriate whilst the maneuver is carried out. This light signal should have the following significance. One flash to mean I am altering my course to starboard and two flashes to mean I am altering my course to port and the three flashes to means I am operating as in propulsion and the duration of each flash should be about one second the interval between flashes should be about one second and the interval between successive signals should be not less than 10 seconds. And the light used for this signal should, should if fitted, be an all-around white light visible at a minimum range of 5 miles and should comply with the provision of Annex 1 to this. And for the regulations, letter C. And for the letter C, when in sight of one another in a narrow channel or fairway, a vessel intende, intending to overtake another shoal in compliance with Rule 9. Indicator intention by the following signal on her vessel. Two, pro, two prolonged blasts followed by one short blast to mean I intended to overtake you on your starboard side. And two, two prolonged blasts followed by two short blasts to mean, I intend to overtake you on your port side, and the vessel about to be overtaken when acting in accordance with Rule 9 should indicate her agreement by the following signal on her whistle, one prolonged and one short, one prolonged and one short plus in that order. So that, and thank you, and Resuelo and Vladi continue this reporting. So hello everyone, my name is Resuelo Marchesi. So this is the continuation of Rule 34. So letter D. When vessel is in sight of one another are approaching each other from any causes, either vessel fails to understand the intention or the action of the other or is in dub whatever sufficient action is being taken by other avoid collision. The vessel dub shall immediately indicate such dub by giving at least five short rapid blasts on the whistle, such signal may be uh, supplemented by a light signal of at least five short and rapid flashes. So basically, just sound this whenever you are unsure on what's going on if you hear it. It means that there is a vessel approaching you and they got no idea what you are doing. So next one, letter E. A vessel nearing a bend or an area of channel or fairway where the other vessel may be obscured by an intervening obstruction shall sound one prolonged blast. Such signal shall be answered with a prolonged blast by any approaching vessel that may be within hearing around the bend or behind the intervening obstruction. So let's take a look in this chart. So we have a map then let's assume that there are a lot of high-rise building 
So, nobody can see around any of the turn you can. So, let's see, the red bezel is proceeding down this channel and as they are nearing to the bend, they are going to sound one prolonged blast because they cannot see what's around the corner. So, there is no vessel there. They don't hear a reply so they can proceed round knowing that it should be clear. If, however, there is a other vessel approaching soon as they hear that signal from the red vessel. They are going to reply with their own prolonged blast. Both vessel now know that there is vessel approaching around the bend. That they are out of visible range. So next one is letter F. Whistle are fitted on a vessel at distance apart of more than 100 meters. One whistle only shall be used for giving maneuvering and warning signal. So, the reason for this is just because the speed of sound if the whistle are more than 100 meters apart, another vessel might well hear that as two separate whistle and interpret it as two separate vessel to avoid that confusion. If you got two whistle more than 100 meters apart, you are only allowed to sound one. So, let's have the comment. So, first is in sight of one another. The signal, the signals prescribed in paragraph A, B, C and and D are only to be given by vessel in visual sight of one another and paragraph E is obviously intended to apply clear visibility. So maneuvering signal should not be given when avoiding action is taken at close range for a vessel detected by radar but not visually sighted. So next one is application to sailing vessel. Rule 34A refers only to a power-driven vessel. Sailing vessel are not required to give maneuvering signal when taking action to avoid collision. So, the remaining paragraphs in Rule 34 apply to all vessel. In particular, it should be noted that sailing vessel are now are now required to give signal at least short, five short and rapid blast when doubt the intention or action of one another vessel. So, the next one is authorized or required. The whistle signals prescribed by Rule 34A must be given when maneuvering as authorized or required by these rules. So, the word authorized would cover an action nor specifically, specifically required by the rules such as that made as necess necessary departure to avoid immediate danger or as precaution required by ordinary practice of seaman in accordance with Rule 2. My name is Vladimir Ketoriano from NS183. So this is my record. Signal for action which is not a tourist. When a power driving vessel which is a sight of, of and with impairing distance of another vessel take action which is not a tourist of required by the rules by the rules. So she has said dito na if there is a ship around you or in the or the view and you hear it then you give a signal there is nothing in the rule being a good sailor call it according to rule number four next is operating astern propulsion a signal of three short blasts those not necessarily means that the vessel sounding it is moving astern through the water so when operating astern propulsion is those need to signal three short blasts to inform the vessel sounding is moving astern through the water. As also terms I am operating astern propulsion has been substituted to my engine are going astern as used in the previous regulation. Next is visual signal. A visual signal, maneuvering signal, was optional in 1960 regulation but the light was required to operate simultaneously and its conjunction with the whistle sounding mechanism. So, yung visual signal, so the visual maneuvering signal started on 1960 and the light had to be at the same time it if it was to be done next is signal for overtaking in a narrow channel 
the signal for overtaking in our, in, on our channel, the sound signal to be used by vessel action is the compliant with rule number 9 signal in the prescribed when the vessel about to be overtaken is not agreement that it is safe po, to pass so yung signal for overtaking in another channel is so when overtaking a vessel in another channel you have to follow rule number 9 so that the vessel you know is if it is safe to overtake next is wakening up signal a wakening up signal a giveaway vessel is required to take early and substantial action to keep well clear by rule 16 and rule 8 also require action to avoid pollution to be positive and to be made in apple time so wakening up signal is when you pass by the den by then there are vessel you need to be able to give a signal early you need in signal number one to five short blast to give you away good day and my name is Jacob Gabriel Tiranaga from NS183 and today we are going to discuss about rule 35 sound signals in restrictive visibility First thing is, uh, in a near or an area of strict visibility, whether by day or night, the signal prescribed in this rule shall be used as follows. Uh, the first one is, uh, a power driven vessel making a way through the water shall sound at intervals of not more than 2 minutes for one prolonged blast. So, uh, basically a vessel that is underway or moving shall sound a signal one prolonged blast. Uh, basically it can be used at low visibility a scenario in which uh, there's fog or in night time then next is a power driven vessel underway but stop and make king no way through the water shall sound at intervals of not more than two minutes two prolonged blasts in a succession with an interval of about two seconds between them so uh, it basically says that just like an example uh, number one uh, this time the vessel which is underway but it says here that it stopped, stop moving. So basically, uh, the propeller or the engine, uh, they did not use the, the engine, uh, which means that the ship is basically flowing along the water. And we need to send the signal to the surrounding area so that in order for the other ship to notice, uh, we're going to send uh, about uh, two prolonged blasts in a succession, but in the gap, yeah, two seconds in between them. Uh, next is uh, letter C, a uh, vessel not under command, a vessel restricted in their ability to maneuver, a vessel constrained by her drought, a sailing vessel, a vessel engaged in fishing, and a vessel engaged in towing, or pushing another vessel shall, instead of the signal prescribed in paragraph A or B of this rule, sound at, at the intervals of not more than two minutes, three blasts in succession, namely one prolonged and followed by two short blasts. So basically, um, the vessel uh, not under her command, vessel restricted in her ability to maneuver, constraints by her drought and sailing vessel and the uh, tugboats. Uh, basically, they will use this signal. Uh, these signals are one prolonged blast and two short blasts. A vessel engaged in fishing when at anchor and a vessel restricted in her ability to maneuver when carrying out her work at anchor shall instead of the signal prescribed in paragraph of this rule sound the signal prescribed in paragraph C of this rule. So it means in accordance with rule 35, um, sound signals in restricted visibility, a vessel engaged in fishing shall instead of the signal prescribed in rule 35 A or B, sound signal in restricted visibility sound at intervals of not more than 2 minutes 3 plus in succession. Next is a vessel towed of if more than one vessel is towed, the last vessel of the tow, if man, shall at interval of not more than two minutes sound for blast. In succession, namely, or one prolonged followed by three short blasts, when practicable, the signal shall be made immediately after the signal made by towing vessel. It means the sound signal in restricted visibility, rule 35E. A vessel toward or if more than one vessel is towed, the last vessel of the tow, 
Fifth man, shall at intervals of not more than two minutes on four blasts in succession, namely one prolonged followed by three short blasts. So when push, pushing vessel and vessel being pushed ahead are rigidly connected in a composite unit, they shall be regulated as a power driven vessel and shall give the signal prescribed in paragraph A or B for this rule. So it means the power driven vessel making way through the water shall sound at intervals of not more than 2 minutes on prolonged blast when practicable the signal shall be made immediately after the signal made by a towing vessel. So it is signal prescribed in paragraph it shall be regarded as a power driven vessel and shall give the signal for the tower vessel. So letter D, a vessel at anchor shall it interval of not more than 1 minute Ring the bell rapidly for about 5 seconds in a vessel of more than in length the bell shall be sounded in the fore part for the vessel and immediately after the ringing of the vessel. The vessel at anchor may in addition sound 3 blasts in a sex shall namely 1 short, 1 prolonged and 1 short blast to give warning of her position and of the possibility of collision to approaching vessel. So it means uh, if a boat is at anchor, it's a floating in a particular place and it's prevented from moving by its anchor. So with deter when determining risk of collision to an approaching vessel, first is the closest distance of approach, type of waterway, vessel size, maneuverability, next speed, distance out from closest point of approach, and last is the relative bearing of the possibility of collision to approach the vessel. So, I'm going to double and then uh, paragraph H. A vessel ground shall give the bell signal, and if required, the gong signal prescribed in paragraph G of this rule shall, in addition, give three separate and distinct strokes on the bell immediately before and after rapid ringing on the bell. A vessel a ground may addition sound an appropriate whistle signal. So, so the anchor is the anchor signal and gong and gong signal issues in paragraph H and paragraph I a vessel of twelve meter or more but less than twenty m the length shall not obligate to give the bell signal prescribed in paragraph G and H. So it means if the vessel is twelve meter or more than but less than twenty meter in length we are not obligate to give a vessel signal prescribed in paragraph G and H but if does not some other patient's sound signal at interval uh, is more than 2 minutes and then paragraph J a vessel or less than 12 meter in length shall not be obligate to give the the above mentioned signal but if does not shall make other patient signal in interval no, or more than two minutes and the last one paragraph k a pilot vessel when engaged a pilot piloted duty may addition or signal prescribe a paragraph a b or g so that being said if the vessel involved or engage a piloted duty and if our, our vessel is anchor we should sound pilotage plug or we should sound the four short blasts. Rule 36. Signal to attract attention. If necessary to attract the attention of another vessel, any vessel may make light or sound signal that cannot be mistaken for any signal authorized elsewhere in these rules. In this situation, kung kinakailangan daw at sakin ang attention ng isang ship, dapat sa ibang ship ay kailangan gumamit ng light or sound signal that cannot be wrong for any signals that na autorizado sa kahit sa anong rule or may direct the beam of her search light in the direction of the danger in such a way as not to embarrass any vessel. Pwede din itapat sa search light to direction of the hazard at dahil sa paraan na to, hindi mapapayaan kahit anong ship sa uh, malapit dito. Any light to attract the intention of another vessel shall be such that it cannot be mistaken for any aid to navigation. 
Dapat daw sa light na ina-attract para sa attention sa another vessel ay hindi nagkakamali for the aid to navigation. For the purpose of this rules, the use of high intensity intermittent or revolving lights such as strobe lights shall be avoided. At ang purpose nitong rule na to ay upang maiwasan ang paggamit ng high intensity intermittent or sa revolving lights tulad ng strobe light ay dapat iwasan. Any signal may be used which cannot be mistaken for a signal authorized elsewhere in the rules including a flare up light. A sailing vessel could use a torch or a searchlight to illuminate the sails. The use of a searchlight to indicate the direction of the danger for a vessel engaged in fish but it can now be used by other vessel. To any signal that used here is need to be cannot be mistaken because para sa signal ay authorized daw ito elsewhere in the rules. Kasama na ang flare up light which is a dazzlingly bright that light for signaling or illumination like on railroads and highways. Ang paggamit daw dito sa search light ay ang pag-indicate sa direction kung saan may danger para sa mga vessel na engage in fishing pero ito daw ay pwede na din kamitin sa iba pang vessel.